Yeah, I just connected the Wellbrook uh, ALA fifteen thirty to uh, ICOM R seven five receiver, and uh, the local time is about ten o'clock at night at the moment. And uh, I'm I tuned up for four point eight eight five kilohertz for uh, our Club do Par, uh, Brazilian station. I'm that's about eight thousand eight thousand kilometers from here, so it is a long distance station, and they're running I think about ten kilowatts or something like that, which is quite low lowish power for AM station. So uh, last year when I was trying to copy that station, I couldn't copy at all, or maybe. I was able to copy maybe some days if I was lucky, so yeah, it was a real struggle to um, even trying to get a glimpse of uh, the signal on the band. But I mean, I don't know whether it's, it's, it's the band condition or or maybe my antenna is working better these days. It seems to be a lot better now. I mean lasted two weeks it was coming through very well every night every night and the past couple of days I mean I could hear it even at nine o'clock in the evening and that station was never uh, never been audible uh, until about uh, midnight the earliest I can remember was about midnight it starts weekly very feeble faint signal and it gets better and better and better and it has to be about half past one or two o'clock in the morning uh, for it gets really good signal and that's really really good day out of blue but now I mean nine o'clock it started uh, putting out a good signal uh, yesterday and the day before as well so it's, it's really interesting but this ALA 30 uh, 1530 sorry yeah Wellbrook ALA 1530 new loop antenna I put out in the in, in the garden uh, today signal I mean it's not quiet it, it, there 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 is noise at the background but uh, it's nothing to do with the antenna or the receiver it's, it's the band condition um, that part of the spectrum 4 megahertz to 5 megahertz is known to be known to be very very noisy band at times uh, and uh, really um, sensitive to uh, atmospheric condition I think and some, sometimes it gets really, really quiet. It just depends. It's so changeable band. And that's what makes that part of the band uh, very interesting indeed. Anyhow, um, I, I've got uh, um, long wire connected to uh, another radio here. NRV, JRC, NRV525. And uh, see how it, it copies uh, on the long wire, the same frequency. Really, 
I cannot hear much on the long wire. Uh, really, uh, I would have thought uh, maybe the band hasn't opened yet when I hear that that uh, uh, that noise there. And I can see someone is talking, but it's uh, buried deep uh, down under the noise, uh, which is impossible to make out to what uh what it is about whether it's uh male or female or, or what are they saying i mean i don't speak portuguese but um i mean you know that uh when someone is uh, talking on the radio and it's very readable or not uh, even if you don't understand the language And this is more, I would say, more readable. I can hear more voice there, more talking. some kind of uh, disturbance in the atmosphere in the band on the band so it's definitely chip frying noise which, which will affect the propagation and uh, condition of the band um, so that's why it's so noisy That's definitely a better signal than the long wire on the NRB five to five. Um, so um, this is this is just quick um, testing on the uh, Wellbrook ALA fifteen thirty and uh, comparing to long wire. Uh, uh, so I hope that uh, it was half interesting. Uh, sorry for rambling on there. Thank you for watching, stay safe and uh, best of 73s, thank you.